Today's adventure begins by me grabbing my backpack and my suitcase, checking out of the current accommodations I am in. The room was pretty interesting. It was very big room, but really hardly anything in here at all, the amount of square footage. And the soothing sounds outside the door. I was here the last five evenings, five nights. It takes the term white noise to a whole other level. Moving on. Welcome everyone. Adam is the who here as a recording of this Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. Now I am not departing Southern California quite yet, but I am going to be going to some other accommodations in the general vicinity. Still here for a little while longer. Today, I'm going to go to Hollywood and possibly the Santa Monica Pier, meeting up with a friend of mine to see where the wind blows, see where what happens. I'm inviting you to join me. It feels good out here. It feels really good. Overcast, not too warm. Join me. Shout you. And since my motel did not have a coffee maker in the room and no coffee in the lobby, drove a mile or two over here to the Donut Prince. And with the sounds of the sirens going by, got a coffee. So I did not get a donut, nor did I get a divorce. I didn't get a divorce, and I didn't get a donut, so I guess I did get a coffee. Made it over to Hollywood and Highland now. Gotta remember this, level P3, row G, aisle six. Parking kind of underneath where the Chinese theater is. It has been a while since I've been over here to Hollywood Boulevard. I'll take the elevators or escalator. I'm more of an escalator guy, so I'll probably take the escalator. Escalator overload. What the heck? They got rid of the elephants up there. The elephants are completely gone. There used to be an elephant perched up there and an elephant perched up there. The elephants have been erased from existence. And there was some construction here on the where the fountain was. The elephants are gone. I heard, that, I heard a rumor they were gonna get rid of them, but I didn't think they were gonna follow through on them, but the elephants are history. Construction update. Stanchions, they removed part of the tile. Just a little construction update. These are the very stairs that you could see in the Oscars. So many celebrities have walked up and down these stairs and they have some of the Academy Award winners, like 75, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And it looks like they're setting up for something over in front of El Capitan. Got the fake foliage walls over here. Standing in front of, well, on top of the Robin Williams star, LL Cool J, Salma Hayek, and of course, Chuck Bronson, was it originally his last last name, but he chose that because he walked out of Paramount Studios, which was on Bronson, and said that's a more recognizable and easier name for people to pronounce. I think it'd be better for my career. Here's a TCL oh, they're doing an announcement the here. The star-studded red carpet premieres oh, that's pretty of cool. some of the biggest and most important movies of all time. Getting a little Becoming the most famous magic movie moment here. on the planet. From the moment audiences stepped off the sidewalk and oh, into it's the windy. of the stars, the movie lovers it's like on Maryland a daily basis. It's like Marilyn has arrived over there too. At Marilyn Monroe time, is showing up. We would like to welcome our first guest speaker. Now there was a time when this piano worked so you could walk up the staircase and these sensors right here. So you put your foot here and it play that note and this note. But that was a long time ago. And when Stan Lee got his handprint, I stood right up there. It was very crowded, kind of perched over and zoomed in on that historic moment. I think MGM Studios did a great job with recreating the Grandma's Chinese Theater. Now, according to this sign, is the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers world premiere might be happening a little bit later. I, might, I don't know if I'll be around for that, but that's pretty cool. Oh, there's the banner up there. Chip and Dale is back. Pretty wild seeing it like this with all the construction and whatnot. A time or two, I stood up there on that balcony. You can really get a good perspective and you can even see downtown LA from up there, but can't go up there right now because all the construction. And here's a fire truck right here. LA County fire truck. You never know what you're gonna see out here on the boulevard. Scott? Scott on tape? From Canada. Hey, okay. mister. And I always like this crosswalk. You can walk 
in a couple different directions, like an X across. You don't have to go in the traditional fashion. Also, Buster is up there on the top of Ripley's. I always like to see good old Buster. I call him that because he's busting out of the Ripley's roof. Believe it or not, Buster is a dinosaur that's busting out of the top of the roof. And this, that's the historic, what's that like a, what do you call that right there? A little balcony, the Fire. lanai? Fire. Fire. Yeah, yeah, I call that, I could call it the lanai. I'm thinking of Fletch. Lanai. I don't like to discuss business on the lanai, but obviously Richard Gere, Julia Roberts did a little business up there. Well, I don't know, Adam, if you know, but I have a YouTube channel. It's called Scott on Tape. I, I can introduce yeah. you as that. And you have covered this in great, to a great extent? Great extent, because I love pretty well, but I only did this location because Edward comes up the street in his limo with the Aria from, uh, I forget what opera it is, but you can still see, the only thing that is still the same is that church way down at the end. Oh yeah. It's behind him as he drives up. And this is all next. She comes out, but very second window from your left. Okay. And then he uses his upper, uh, to, to bring down the ladder. The ladder used to be on the opposite side. Okay. So he changed that, uses his umbrella. He parks right here, there's a big tree right here. That tree's gone. I don't know how they get rid of trees, science. And then he uses the umbrella, lines up, and then the second one is where they suck face. Oh, wow. Yep. So my question is, what room did Kramer stay in? This isn't the Seinfeld building. It isn't? No. I thought he no. stayed. No. I thought he stayed at the luxurious Las Palmas Hotel. No. That. Oh. You're right. Oh, I thought you thought. I, I thought you were really stupid and thought this was <laughs> the Seinfeld building. No. Oh, this is where it's Kramer stayed. It's mentioned. Stay. When he when Kramer goes to Hollywood, he says he's staying at the luxurious Las Palmas Hotel. You're right. <laughs> I bested you on oh, Seinfeld knowledge. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know what's interesting? The Las Palmas Furniture Warehouse almost looks like a hamburger. Right next door. It doesn't look like a hamburger with lightning bolts, but it's a furniture store. It used to be a furniture store, neon. And this is interesting. Right next door. This used to be on Hollywood Boulevard, but now it's on Las Palmas. The Beetle House. What is it? It's a Tim Burton themed, or the one on Hollywood Boulevard used to be a, a Tim Burton themed, like, bar. Oh, take a look at this. Zoltar. You know what, this is what interesting. Are you waiting oh, for? I don't know what I'm waiting for. And this is the first Zoltar slash Zoltan machine that he's, doesn't have a name on it. He is very tan. He is. He's <laughs> Zoltan. That's bacon base. But usually it has one or the other. Yep. Look at this, people have kind of tagged it up here. Yeah, they've written some things. But usually they'll say Zoltar or Zoltan. It's very, very bizarre. It's very, very, very bizarre. bizarre. <laughs> I wish I was big. Oh, what the heck's happening over at the Grauman's Egyptian? It's like a jackhammer over there. Yes, that is a jackhammer. That is a jackhammer. What are they doing? I can tell. And I got to show John Ritter here, his star. Right on Hollywood and Wilcox, next to this jewelry store, with this clock that does not work, that is not the correct time, the Pacific Theater here. If memory serves me correctly, you, this used to be the Scum and Villainy Cantina, right here next to Jack Haley's star. Oh, and Jim Neighbors' star. Cloris Leachman. Oh, Cloris Leachman. Yeah, here with it. Put the candle some warm milk, Look at how tight perhaps. I'm trying to get in here, I've written to the people, email, try to get in here. I want to go in this. Yeah, you've never been, I've never been in the Pacific no, either. It's impossible. Scum and Villainy either used to be here or possibly right there. There are just so many new apartment complexes popping up, housing areas, way over there, Capitol Records building. Hollywood and Vine. And I never knew that there was a Playboy liquor right here. Well, Adam, for pointing out Playboy liquor, congratulations, because you know who used to frequent this establishment? Hugh Hefner. Very, very close, much less successful, Ed Wood. This was his bar. And then right across here, you can see a doorway that's sealed up in this yeah, building. That's, yeah. That was a speakeasy. Oh. The little bar is still inside there, but it doesn't exist. Like, it's just an area. But right there, that's where Ed Wood used to hang out all the time. And then, you see where it says North End there on that sign? Next to Panda Express? Yes. Yes. There used to be a bar called Goldfinger in, uh, I think, about the early 2000s. And that was owned by Glenn Quinn, Mark from Roseanne. Yeah. Yeah, he owned that bar. Interesting. Before he passed away. 
But this is Yucca. And Yucca is known as one of the most dangerous streets in Hollywood. The 7-Eleven down here. Right down here somewhere. Okay. I can't so, see it. Which, what are these directions? Yeah, it's down, no, it's down here. It's right there. Yeah. It's one of the most it's one of the most dangerous uh, intersections. Is that Kohanga? That's Kohanga down there. Yeah. I stayed at a motel right behind that once. How'd you feel? There's a faux place there too. <laughs> Do you I, love your faux? It was okay. Yeah. And another fun fact, Scott just let me know about that. L. Frank Baum, Wizard of Oz. He wasn't the Wizard of Oz, but he wrote the Wizard of Oz. He could have been. He had a house that was right here. Yeah. Go over here. We'll go over here in the shade, and I'll, I'll show a, a Very picture. Very famous of it. house. There it is. The house has been torn down. Now it's something else. And here at Yucca Gardens Apartments. Oh, this is horrifying. Ah, this is horrid. Damien? Damien? It's got the extra six, so you know it's bad. Wait a second. Wait. Wait. Six, six, six. Oh, there's another six. Okay, okay. There's there's four six. I was zoomed in on the three. Okay, back over to this area to what they call Babylon Court. Even though they removed the elephants up top, like I was talking about, they have not removed the signage here. Monumental archway and elephants are inspired by D.W. Griffith's historic 1916 film. Still says there's supposed to be elephants here. So they removed the elephants. They have? They've gotten rid of the elephants, Scott. You promised me elephants. On the elephants are gone. They used to be right up here. Now it's just Justin Bieber on both sides. So he is, talk about the elephant in the room. He's our Canadian elephant. Oh, he's Canadian. Yeah. Oh, did I mention that I'm Canadian? Yeah. He's one of ours, Drake, Sean Mendes. We're playing them all. So how long before this is removed? Soon. This is a historic placard right here. And just gonna see maybe if the door is open to the church that was used in Back to the Future. The dance scenes were around the back and I've never confirmed or fact checked this, but I've heard this is the Sister Act church as well. All right, that was a fail. Big Did not fail. get in. Big but Jerry. but Big. every once in a while, it works out. You just have to always check. I got in there last October. Yeah. For Back to the Future. So I put up it happens. It happens. It happens. When you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything, just like George McFly said today. I put my mind to it, and it didn't, didn't work out. Hey, so. you! Get your damn hands off her! Also, fun fact, Hollywood Bowl, right over past those hedges over there. But the very first movie filmed in Hollywood was filmed inside that building, now the Hollywood Heritage Museum. Just in that parking lot over there. It's called The Squaw Man. The very first movie ever filmed Point out something over here, Adam? Which was the, basically the birth of Hollywood, started in that very building. Okay, we have got the walk signal. Right. Now I know what's at the top of this hill, That's and right. you know what's at the top of this hill, Scott. Oh, I'm not gonna walk up there. No, there is an elevator. No, right. there's there's no elevator. There is an elevator. Is there? Is? there is? There is an elevator right at the top of the street, High Tower Road, right there. There's an elevator? Turn right on that street, there's an elevator. You can take it all the way to the top. Wow, Dad, can we go up? No. But yeah, there really is. I always there. walked the stairs and I thought, I don't want to do that again. Yeah, so Kurt Cobain's abandoned house is yep. here. That's true, where him and Courtney live, they would overlook the Hollywood Bowl, hear the music, yep. and he wrote a lot of In Utero in there. He wrote a lot of In Utero here and also his apartment on Fairfax. Okay, have made the commute, jumped in Scott's rental car, and we cruised over to the Santa Monica Pier to see the coaster going by. There is a lot of fast food history in Southern California and the greater LA area. And this was one of them. Hot dog on a stick, you could find at malls, theme parks, things like that. But the original one was right here and it is gone. They might be completely redoing it, building another facade, but it was right here. Hot dog on a stick. I ate there quite a few times. It's a pretty tasty lemonade. Look at that, gone, erased from existence with no warning whatsoever. They just did it. Okay, just talked to one of the workers. Now, take this as you will. He was saying that they did not tear the building down. This is a remodel, and according to him, May 30th, it will be unveiled. Don't know if that's 100%, I don't, who knows? But heard it directly from the workers. May 30th, hot dog on a stick that was not torn down, just remodeled. Interested to see. I have to do a follow-up on this. I will not be here May, May 3rd. I will not be in town May 30th. Okay. Yeah, keep going. But I am curious to see any of the updates, okay. news updates, to follow the follow the updates on Hot Dog on a Stick. It'd be great if they did not tear it down and that was just that was just a remodel. Okay, I met up with another friend, Rain, from 
nerd locations. Nerd locations on Instagram. And YouTube. So oh, you're doing YouTube now. I am brand new to YouTube, Adam. Ain't brand new. So I got 700 subscribers trying to reach 1,000. It's going to happen. Yep. I, I think. It'll happen because of this video. Or maybe your video. Me, I think you're a little, you have a little bit more, a few more followers than me. Let's get him to a thousand. Yep. Get me to a thousand. Nerd locations. We're here in Santa Monica. Hey, tell me, Scott on tape. And what, what are we doing? We talking about tell hot me, dog on a stick? Tell me, tell me about hot dog on a stick. So I was just told by the worker they did not tear that down. You are here for breaking news. That, Nerd okay. location news. Adam, I'm here to tell you that is complete malarkey. Oh. Complete malarkey. Okay. Because I, I was work. here. And they tore it down. Two months ago. And I teared up thinking about the lemonade. The lemonade. Those juicy lemonade. corn dogs. What about the, the outfits they wear? The, the, the I can hats. see you in a hot dog on a stick dick outfit. I have one at home right now. You do? You forgot it. You left it in Canada. But, but it's not because I work a hot dog on a stick. <laughs> you never know with Scott. But they did tear it all the way down. Okay. They're trying to they're trying to salvage their reputation because somebody from Santa Monica City Hall wrote me after I tagged Santa Monica. I'm not happy so about upset. it. So upset about it, and they wrote me there and said, We're building a new one. A new so one. That's a new, complete new one. So, original location, so they're going to market it as wow. original location. Why the heck did they tear down the original hot dog on a stick? It was there for almost going on 100 years. It was almost. sad. I think it was built out of hot dogs. That's why they have to redo it. And sticks. Yep. <laughs> so, now they have to actually use brick and mortar. Yo, Adam Scott and Nerd, so I'm going to put y'all in my rap. And shout out to these brothers. Let me put y'all on this track. Nice little view here of PCH. Traffic going by, and they're looking at the pier. Every time I look at this angle, I can't can't help think of Rocky Three, Eye of the Tiger. This is where Apollo and Rocky were running, right over here, and then Rocky and Adrian had their little conversation. Oh, this is pretty interesting. This is a Blink 182 Enema uh, mural, and never 1959 does a lot of kind of pop culture murals all around all around the country. Now I'm gonna tell Nerd Location something you did not realize as we're walking over. This was the record store from Pretty in Pink. No idea. This is where Ducky did the dance. Zero idea. Right over here. And later, and Scott, you know this. Yeah. This is where he was sitting on the newspaper racks at the end, very sad that he did not get the girl. Right over here against the side, they had the newspaper racks in here too. And fun fact, with a stack of books here, this is where the clown was that Pee Wee tied up his bike in front of Chuck's bike Arama. In fact, those windows up there are the one of the few things that still matches yeah, up. Yeah, there used to be a theater here. The magic shop was right over there. It looks completely different. These windows look the same, and this has been repurposed, but that building right there still looks But right here, this hotel, Valerie Malone from 90210, a little show, maybe you've heard of it. Beverly Hills 90210. She was right across the street, right there, about to jump off onto the PCH. Where would you put 90210 in your favorite shows? Uh, number two. It's not in my list. Not in my list either. No. Nine, number You're two. number two? What's your number one? Uh, probably Seinfeld. Okay. Nowadays it is Survivor. Yes, I'm a geek. But it's Seinfeld, The Office, 90210 are my three. Favorite shows? Sanford Sun, Sopranos, and Facts of Life. Oh, I, very yeah. good. Mine would be good. Three's Company, Pick the Bad, it's a Facts of Life, yeah. it's a Facts of Life. I would go Three's Company, Family Ties, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, which I just started watching season six. Nice. It's good. It's Give me really one good. more. Give me one more. You got one more? Oh yeah, you got, you got four. Give me five. Oh, there's a squirrel over here. I started to think about two more, so I named the three. I really like the original Star Trek. I have the Blu-ray set. I also like Married with Children, so that would be probably top five off the top of my head. What do you think, squirrel? What do you think, squirrel? Is that a good list? I'm gonna take you back to Canada. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I mentioned original Star Trek and Married with Children. Okay. Is that a good list? Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> There's a, a squirrel hive. There's a squirrel hive down here. Out. We have a lot of them in Canada, but, oh, look at this. This is it. This is it. Look at them. Look at all the squirrels. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow, is that a, are those animatronics? <laughs> You know, fire you know what a group of squirrels are called? It's called a hive. No, those are bees, Adam. Bees. Beads? I have never seen so many squirrels in one congregated area before. That's what they're called, the congregation of squirrels. I made that up. I think, how many do you think are over there? I don't know, let's go ask. 90,210? We missed them. Oh, don't jump! I feel like Barnum Perkins right now. Don't jump! 
There, look at this. There's so many of them. Look, and there's a bunch of them over there too. What the heck? Are we being attacked? This is like Kingdom of the Spiders, but it's squirrels. Is this a horror film? Look at everywhere. This is like a horror film of squirrels. It's like the birds of squirrels. The bird Hitchcock would be squirreled. <laughs> Dude, there are squirrels. Look at this. They're all down the side. Check out that guy. This is so wild. Crazy. There's another one right there. There's three right there. They are really cute, but it's just weird seeing so many of them all congregated together. Look at this. They all live underneath these little dirt patches right here on the side of PCH. This one's digging down. Dude, there's like a hundred squirrels out here. Squirrel Haven. This one over here. Got a little meat on his bones. Hello, squirrel. I wonder if that's the leader. Hello, squirrel. Oh, I don't have any food. I'm sorry never seen anything like this. Just a haven of squirrels. Right off of PCH. PCH right there. Amazing. With the pier off in the distance. Okay, I'm looking at this. Now this is dangerous, but I am more worried about one of these biting me. Yeah, look at these, look at the ones that are just, just living life, man. What'd yep. you call them, wombats? These two are wombats. Those what is a wombat? Squirrels. Adam, those are not squirrels. What is a wombat? That. Whatever this is, is a, it's a deer, squirrel, rat. But these Bat guys, they, they haven't moved combo. in weeks. Look at all the nuts. Look at the squirrel's nuts. Look at this one coming darting across. This evidently did not see the sign saying, watch out. This is coming in. It's got its teeth. I think they're hungry. <laughs> I think they're legitimately might be hungry. Well, there's no, but if you look, people are... People okay, there's yeah, there's some all over there. Is oh, there's everywhere. a bunch of yeah, there's a bunch of peanuts and stuff. Okay, I'm glad hey, someone's look feeding at this him. Guy. He is not hungry. He can't move. He's so he's so full. He's stretching. He's having. Oh, he's yawning. He's a tired I'm little guy. Zoom in. He's tired. Were you up partying? <laughs> oh, have you ever had squirrel meat? I never have. Don't say that in front mm. of them. This is kind of a neat thing. It's called the Camera Obscura. It's one of the only one left in the world like this. There's another one in LA at Griffith Park. And I don't know since the shutdowns in 2020 if you could go back in here, but you used to be able to just walk in here and ask them that you want to go into the camera obscura part. We'll go check it out, go in the store and see if it's open. Okay, that's the answer there. The door is locked. Yeah. So they have, they have completely taken everything out of here. If you look up on the top of the roof, you can see the mirror that looks out to the telescope. It's like, it's all done by mirrors though. Nothing digital. See that little thing popping up there? Yeah. It almost looks like the, what you look at when you're on a submarine. Periscope. Or, periscope, yeah, it's very similar to a periscope. Exactly, a periscope. Okay, we're back in the Scott on Tape rental mobile. Mm. We are heading over to downtown Hollywood, we're gonna to go to Mel's Diner. Let me just show what LA traffic looks like. Okay, that's, that's, but look at the time. 11 miles, <laughs> one hour. And it's all red. If you, if you proceed to look past it, it's just red. Red, red, red. 11 miles, so yeah, LA, gotta love it. Yeah, that's looking down over the overpass. Look at that beautiful array of vehicles. That is, Probably the busiest highway in North America, 405, for, in terms of the amount of traffic at certain hours. Remember but, when Randy Newman sang, I love LA? Mm, he wasn't in traffic. He didn't have a friend in me. And I want to show over there, Nakatomi Plaza. Well, that's a truck. That's a truck right there. But over at the distance, Nakatomi Plaza right there. Bruce Willis is up on the roof of that, doing the explosion scene with the Helicopters and all that. For moonlighting, right? Yeah, for moonlighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, made it over to Mel's Diner, corner of Hawthorne and Highland. One block away from Highland. 
or no, one block away from Hollywood in Highland. This is Hawthorne in Highland, which also just so happens to be on the corner over there, Hollywood High, where John Ritter and another quite a bit of notable names went. There's John right there. John Ritter, police company. And real quick like before going into Mel's Diner, this helicopter going over, this Chip and Dale's premiere has started. Yep. Who'd you see pull up? I had a heart attack. Chris Parnell from Saturday Night Live, Hot Rod. You know his face. Chris Parnell was right there, and now he's in there. I don't like, think they're gonna let us over there. Elton. Oh, right here, look. There's some people getting pictures. All right, that was pretty neat. Now back over to Mel's, get a bite to eat here in the historic Max Factor building. And now back over in front of the Chinese theater where they were doing the thing a little earlier with Marilyn, Marilyn impersonator, Tom Cruise right here. Oh, here we go, check this out. Harry Potter, Emma Watson, Daniel Radcliffe. Pretty neat. Twilight, never saw Twilight. George Clooney here, Peter O'Toole, Will Smith. Burt Reynolds. I always notice Burt Reynolds never signs with a T. Just B U R. Jack Benny. Bing Crosby. Clark Gable. Debbie Reynolds. Robert Downey Jr. And one thing I've always wanted to do is go on the roof of the Roosevelt Hotel. Wow, look at this. I'm on the roof right now. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, the Chili Peppers just did something up here. I can remember, like, they had the sign there for the new Chili Peppers album. I don't even know why I saw that, but it just, like, popped up. The Roosevelt Hotel signage. See the reflection? That is so freaking cool. <laughs> wow, look at this. What a view. Unbelievable. Downtown there, Hollywood over there, Griffith. Chinese theater down there. You can tell that all this wall from like those fires too. Look at that. Downtown LA. And the neon right there. If we have more open, I'll show you more. Look at this. <laughs> That is wild. Watch your step over there. That is a view of Hollywood Boulevard I've never seen from this angle. That's like faint. Got the same thing. Look at this. And then another sign right there, Hotel Roosevelt. <laughs> Never realized you'd come up here on this roof. This is pretty awesome. Pretty dang cool sign right there. There's the Griffith Observatory over there. Oh, the Hollywood sign. Hollywood sign right there. I have seen this sign so many times from the ground level, walking up and down Hollywood Boulevard for years. When I lived around this neighborhood for a couple years, you'd always see this. Never thought I'd be standing on the, but not the back side of water, the back side of the Hotel Roosevelt sign. Right here. Incredible. Austerity. Dude, that's... I love it. A good ending to the day. I have to give a special shout out to Nerd Locations, new YouTube channel. He's staying here, so he said, you want to come up to the roof? I can just have them let me on the roof. I said, yes. I'm not staying here. But he was able to get access, so... 
not every day you can do this. That's pretty dang cool. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Ooh, the floor below me is creaking. It's wooden here. That's gonna do it for today, a fun day. Roosevelt Hotel roof. It was fun. There's a piece of glass here, a little plexi. And there's Hollywood Boulevard. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. That's where I just was, back on ground level now. <laughs>